I am Zach Friedman, and I am a professional hardware hacker. I built this smartwatch. A big, I build a lot of wearable technology. In fact, it, my very first projects were wearables. And uh, one thing I don't like about today's wearables is that they're too damn subtle. You know, all the smart watches are designed to look like regular watches, Fitbits are designed to be invisible. I want something a little less subtle. Uh, so this is actually a smartwatch. It has smartwatch features. It has a laser. Wait, okay, here we go. It has a flashlight. Nice. It has a TV Begone that turns off uh, TVs with dual blasters as well. Oh, nice. Uh, let's see, we have a PowerPoint control, and it controls Google Glass, because the only thing better than a wearable is a wearable that controls a wearable, and it has a working breathalyzer. And once it heats up, uh, now, I'm sober. Cameraman, are you sober? Yes. Uh, the cameraman is also sober, so we're not going to be able to actually test this out, but it does, in fact, work. Uh, and uh, it also keeps track of my life, because, you know, what would a wrist computer do uh, without keeping track of your life? And uh, it has, you know, a whole lot of send-ups. Oh, and most importantly, uh, perhaps the most critical feature, it has a stash box. Uh, because the last place anyone expects you to hide your questionable items is inside your watch. Uh, this uses a Teensy 3.0 inside it, uh, which is Arduino compatible. It's all 3D printed using a replicator too. All the parts in it are available on either SparkFun or uh, or Amazon. So this whole thing, you know, all the all the plans and everything's available online. The whole project was improvised, uh, so there isn't a, there isn't really a circuit board or anything. But it was a ton of fun to build and. I love that transition. Yeah. <laughs>